Hey guys, so taking a break from my regular tutorial videos, I wanted to share with you guys just something I've been working on as well as sort of a fail video. So in my never-ending quest to make programming the ESP module easier, I've been trying to figure out various freeform ways of getting all of the sort of just default connections built. The the power connections, the 3.3 volt regulator, some filtering caps, just all the regular little connections that you need made. So in doing this, I've been trying to get away from using the larger LM1117 and instead replacing it with the much smaller AMS1117. And I made this choice here because I want everything to basically fit nice and neatly on the ESP12 package here. And really with having this, unfortunately the tab on these is the output voltage, so I can't really mount it sort of on top of the shield here, which is connected to ground. And I don't really want to just have the whole thing taking up the bottom either, because I have a couple of capacitors I want to put in. And it's just, it's big. So, I've been trying to go with the AMS 1117, which is basically a surface mount replacement for the LM 1117. So in doing all of this, I decided that, well, I should just be able to do the same circuitry I do for these guys. Just put, you know, a 0.1 and a 100 microfarad cap on the output of this, give it a little heat sink here, and I should be good to go, right? Well only sort of the case. So part of my reason for doing this is because I wanted to build a more easy and less wiry and annoying design for my RGB, RGB mood lights that I've been making. And to do this, you need to have a 12 volt power supply to power the lights. And I don't want to have two power supplies, one for the ESP and one for the lights, because that just doesn't make sense. So my goal here was to basically be able to build a bunch of these that I could then wire up LEDs to and accept 12 volt input. And what I found was that with the AMS 1117, which is kind of hidden underneath this cap here, that when I pumped 12 volts into them, they would work for about two minutes. And as you might expect, with the AMS 1117 being a linear regulator, this little heat sink I added would get pretty hot. And I figured, well, okay, I've dealt with linear regulators before. They get hot, I add a heat sink, everything's all happy. It burns a little bit, but it works. Not so the case with these guys. When you pump 12 volts into these, and maybe just it's because I bought knockoffs, but when you pump 12 volts into these for more than about a minute or two, they heat up and they the voltage that comes out of them starts just going all over the place. I think I fried one or two of these little boards here before I realized that I was just screwing myself over, not doing the math. So to solve this, I got kind of annoyed for a couple days. I was really, really happy with my nice little package here. And this does work for anything, any input voltage on these two little pins here. It works for anything up to about eight or nine volts, but when you start pushing it past about 10 volts, that little regulator with this little crappy bit of metal that I put on as a heat sink, it just doesn't cut it anymore. And so, I decided to look up ways that other people have solved this with linear regulators, and I found that basically the math doesn't work out. It, it's going to get too hot. You're dissipating whatever it is, like 9 or 10 volts, just to heat out, out of that little thin piece of metal that I put on. It just doesn't work out. So I kind of went hat in hand back to my workshop here and sulked for a little while and then decided, okay, fine. I'll just work with this and figure out a better way to do it. And I tried to use a couple of diodes to do dropping the voltage across the diode to hopefully put less power into this. That didn't really work. Eventually I just decided, okay, 
This form factor here is great. It's great for anything that I need to do that is, you know, under 10 volts, which for the most part, other than working with these RGB strips, I'm not working with 12 volts. So I accepted that this will work for anything under 12 volts and it is. It's a really nice, neat little package I've put together and you can see it's really small. It's, you know, it's only a little bit thicker than the actual size of the module and a little bit bulkier, but basically it all fits within the same form factor. So I said, okay, fine. And I pulled out our tried and true good 5 volt regulator, the uh, 7805. And I put a couple of pins here that are the output pins so I can just plug this guy right in. And then I got a couple of pins here to go to a battery connector or a wall plug connector. And there we go. So it's not quite as pretty and as elegant as just having the raw regulator or the raw board here but it works pretty well and it means that I can kind of just take all of my boards and give them this little regulator power situation here and it will work for basically anything that isn't 12 volts and then when I need a higher voltage I just pop on a little 7805 to drop it from whatever the input is down to 5 and then the AMS 1117 can do the rest of the work from 5 down to 3.3 so, in the end, it was somewhat of a fail, somewhat of a success, but I really am very pleased with what I've made here because now I can take all, I have about 20 of these boards, or 18 now, and I can just go ahead and do this little circuit here on the back of them, and then I just don't have to worry about power for them, basically. I can just input whatever power I want, I can even just stick this right onto a breadboard power supply if I want. So, sort of a fail and sort of a success. Um, that's, you know, it happens sometimes. So I guess the, you know, lesson here is if it doesn't work and it's really hot, well, something's going wrong. So that's about all I have to say for this video. It's just sort of I wanted to show you guys sort of what I've been working on personally that hasn't been specifically for video. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.